So the day has come. The day is finally here. We're reviewing the 11 inch iPad Pro. Now guys, quick disclaimer, I am not really a super techie person. So if you guys are expecting like crazy benchmarks or stuff like that, then this isn't the video for you. I'm just kind of a practical user um, that just loves Apple products. So I'm just gonna give my thoughts on the product and let you guys know how I like it, let you guys know if it's worth it and let's get to it. So to get the technical stuff out of the way, uh, this is the 256 gigabyte iPad Pro. This is the 11 inch. Um, I went with the 11 inch just because the 12.9 was a little bit overbearing for me and I, I just think the 11 inch was the perfect size. So I went with the 11 inch. Um, so far I'm not regretting it. Um, I do draw a lot on the 11 inch iPad Pro. I'm in no way, shape or form an artist, but it still feels pretty well for me. I know a lot of people say, Artists should go for the 12.9. Um, I guess it's probably because I'm not an artist. That's why I'm perfectly fine with the 11. So as far as performance goes, the iPad Pro is actually very fast. It's probably faster than it needs to be since, I mean, the iPad Pro is very limited. I and mean, limited to an extent that it can't really replace your computer. If you guys are looking for something to replace your computer, then this isn't it. I really wish that Apple would take advantage of the power that this thing has, but I mean, they haven't yet. Maybe in the future they will, but for now they haven't. There's, this thing is more than powerful enough to you know, handle any drawings, to handle multiple applications, handle gaming, things like that. So of all the great things about the iPad Pro, I truly believe that the Apple Pencil is my favorite. Now I say that because this thing performs so great. So the Apple Pencil is very, very responsive and I really love it. I mean, just check this out almost no lag whatsoever. I do have my streamline all the way on, but, so I mean, keep that in mind. That's why the lines are so straight. Uh, for those inquiring minds, this is Procreate. This is one of my favorite apps. Um, I will do uh, my favorite apps video very soon. Um, but I do love how responsive that this thing is. And this pencil is definitely a winner and it charges just by this little magnetic strip on the side and you just clip it on and now you're charging. I know the last Apple Pencil, you had to plug it into the lightning port and blah, 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 blah. That was just a whole mess. Um, speaking of ports, we did finally switch to USB-C. It's been a long time coming. The MacBooks have been USB-C for about a year and some change, probably more. So it's good that the iPad Pro is finally going to USB-C and maybe there's hope for the iPhone. Just go to USB-C. I'm kind of tired of lightning. So let's go to USB-C and make life easier for everybody. So this iPad Pro does feature one port only and it is USB-C. Uh, and unfortunately, there is no headphone jack. Um, that's kind of the way Apple is going. And honestly, it doesn't really bother me that much because I use wireless headphones anyway. But I know for some people that might be quite an issue, but I mean, for me, it's not. So my next point that I do want to bring up is durability and Okay, I'm pretty sure everybody has seen Jerry Rig Everything's video where he folded this thing like it was like a sheet of paper. And we're gonna do that. So, uh, uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. Because anything that's this light and thin is gonna bend really easily. Um, I mean, I'm not saying that Apple couldn't have made it more durable, but I mean, for something that's like this thin and it's made out of aluminum, it's kind of to be expected that it's probably gonna not be that durable. Um, with that being said, I have traveled with my iPad. I've had just had it in luggage and stuff and it's been fine and I haven't had any issues along that line. So, I mean, for the most part, I believe if you're truly careful with your device, you're not going to have that much of an issue. Another thing to note about the durability is that the screen is kind of thin. So when you are using the Apple Pencil, you'll kind of see it like a little dark mark, you know, coming through. Um, that's pretty normal. Um, but the screen seems to be, you know, pretty good. Um, I haven't dropped it or anything, but uh, the screen seems to be pretty good. It, I don't think if you press it too hard, it's going to break or anything. Um, the screen seems to be great, even though it is a fingerprint magnet. So I would definitely recommend a screen protector of some sort. But when it comes to screen protectors, I would not recommend a tempered glass screen protector because something seems to be going all wonky and stuff. So um, I actually have been using a matte screen protector because um, one, it makes the drawing on the iPad Pro feel a lot, you know, better. You know, I'm not the one. I'm not one that really likes the feeling of plastic on glass or rubber on glass. Uh, I prefer a little bit more resistance, so I did get a matte screen protector. Um, I will have the one that I got linked in the description. It's actually really good, and it's 
It's similar to Paperlike, but it uh, doesn't give you that much color noise or anything like that. So I will have that linked in the description if you guys want to check that out. We talked about some of my favorite features. We talked about the durability of the iPads. Now it's time to talk about price. And boy, these things are expensive. The 11 inch one starts at $7.99 and the 12.9 inch starts at $9.99 and that's just for 64 gigs. Um, for these, obviously 64 gigs probably isn't going to be enough so you're going to have to you know, move up which is going to be more money. So these things can get really, really, really pricey really fast. But I do wish that these iPads were a little bit cheaper especially since they're kind of limited but what do I know. But with that being said, do I think that they're worth the money? Absolutely. If you're a graphic designer, absolutely. If you're someone that likes to create art, absolutely. If you're not one of those things, I'd probably recommend you guys just get one of the older iPads and just save a few bucks. But to me, it's worth the money and I absolutely love my iPad and I believe the majority of people do love their iPads too. Um, obviously, people that weren't getting bent iPads, you know, because that whole Ben gate was a thing. And But when when does Apple not have a thing whenever they have a product? Um, so hopefully they get that straightened out really soon. There you guys have it. That's kind of my little brief review on the iPad Pro. Guys, keep in mind, I'm not a super techie person. So if I miss some things, just yell at me in the comment section. Um, <laughs> with that being said, guys, if you do like this video, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, guys, I will have a lot of these products linked in the description, so it would help me a lot if you guys did check out those links if you guys are planning on purchasing. Um, other than that, guys, this is Lou Monastime, and I'm out.